Hello students of class 7, simulation, reading Swami and his friends. So uh, we are reading that uh, review of that book, Swami and his friends. So in the first part, we will learn something about um, uh, Swami reading in Albert Mission School and leaving it and then taking admission in board school. So after that, shortly after this, Rajam, Swami and Mani gather their friends and form a cricket team. So you can see these friends, they form the cricket team, the Malgudi Cricket Club, MCC. The MCC challenges a neighboring club. Now they have a match, they actually arranged a match with a neighboring club, the youth Men's Union, Youth Men's Union, this is the name of that other club, to a friendly match and the vow to practice every day. To make it to the practice sessions on time, Swami bunks scouting and drill classes in his new school. So, so he did not uh, attend those scouting and drill classes in the new school to practice for that match. The result is a direct conflict with the headmaster and his case. Now, the headmaster uh, with his cane was waiting and uh, he did not want to get punished, so there was a conflict. This time, Swami runs away not just from his school but his home as well. So, he left his school and also his home. What becomes of Swami? Uh, will he return to help his friends win the match against YMU? Will Rajam and Mani continue to be his friends? Read the book to find out. So here, uh, no disclosure about what <coughs> happened there after he left that school. Did he play the match? Did he help his friends in winning that match? Uh, all these things you will come to know if you read the book. So uh, this is done in this manner to rouse curiosity in the mind of the reader so that you read the book. So now review. Life for a child in the 1930s was a simpler, devoid as it was of gadgets, technology and mouse. They, they did not have those mobile phones and other gadgets to spend time on that. Then uh, technology and mouse they did not have. So they did what? Children in those days would spend time making paper boats. So see, in, uh, the, actually the way they spend their time by making paper boats plucking fruits from trees, basking by the riverside, that means getting exposed uh, in a mood of relaxation by the riverside, watching the sunset day, listening, uh, listen, listening to stories told by their grandmothers or forming sports clubs. These are the activities in which they engage themselves. This was a time when life was uninterrupted by the constant pinging of cell phones when friends walked up to each other's houses or stood outside and whistled to signal to their friends to come out of their houses. This is Swami's life. So, uh, the lifestyle of Swami uh, at that time, and uh, there is a comparison between how children spend their time these days and how uh, Swami and his friends of that time spend their time. So they, you have come to know about all those things, making paper boats, plucking fruits, busking by the riverside, watching the sunset, listening to stories. So this way they uh, spend their times and uh, uh, if, uh, when they had to call someone, they used to go to their uh, house and uh, standing near the house, they used to whistle uh, the signal to come out of their houses. So. Here, the first slide comes to an end. Let us move on to the next slide. The life of a middle school kid, no matter where did the child is from, comes with its unique set of problems. Our camera and highlights several of these problems with a pinch of humor. Swami is distraught when his friends mock, mock him but is consoled by a toy in Zin, he is embarrassed to introduce his old and ignorant grandmother to Razam, but finds out that the two get along just fine. 
He cheated out of his money by the, by the coastman and when he goes to claim it back, ends up being chased away by a mob and he gets into a lot of trouble for playing hooky from classes. And these are experiences every child is familiar with. Now there is a familiarity, a similarity between <coughs> Swami and the kids of today. So uh, he was a middle school kid and uh, the middle school kids, no matter where, uh, where they, they had come from, and uh, they come with a unique set of problems. And uh, Arkanarayan, the writer here, highlights several of these problems with a pinch of humor that we love to see those. So he is distraught when, when his friends mock him. He is uh, a bit angry, but is consoled by a toy engine. But when someone gives him a toy engine, he is pleased. He is embarrassed to introduce his old and ignorant grandmother to Raja. Now he uh, feels it bad to introduce his grandmother to Razum but finds out that the two get along just fine. They were comfortable in one each other's company. He is cheated out of his money by the coachman and when he goes to claim it back then he is chased by a mob. So these are the funny uh, situations which is narrated by the writer. So with that this uh, slide comes to an end and let us move on to the next slide. Swami, like Harry Potter, has been a beloved character ever since he was created. He has a simple life and simple dreams. Going to the market with coins jingling in his pocket make it easy for readers to connect with him. One can't help laughing at the excuses Swami's classmates give the headmaster when they question about the absence from his school. The funniest incident is when Swami visits the doctor. He goes to the doctor complaining of delirium. When the doctor asks him what he means by delirium, he answers, I have got it. I can't say exactly, but isn't it some, uh, some, some kind of stomachy? Uh, so, some funny situations uh, where uh, he and uh, Swami and his friends are engaged in. And uh, the one funny situation is when the headmaster asks his friends uh, about their absence from school and uh, again when Swami visits a doctor and says that he is suffering from delirium and when the doctor asks him what he, what he means by delirium then he is not sure about what it was and he asks whether it was some kind of stomach ache or not. Delirium is what? Uh, it is the uh, actually the things told by a person who is dying in an unconscious state so that is delirium so it is true such sins that swami's innocence and simplicity are highlighted long before diary of a wimpy kid burst into a literary scene swami's an antics in middle school my children and adults roll with laughter now that funny uh, touch uh, we find everywhere in that book so uh, if, um, the readers uh, can't help laughing to find Swami doing all those silly things. So with that, this presentation comes to an end. I will come up with the rest of the things of the lesson. Till that time, goodbye. Thank you.